Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ruined King, a League of Legends story. With me, Demonox. When we last left off, we have fought the giant spider. Golgoroth. I think that's what it's called. Uh -huh. Yeah, return to the bounty board. Kill Gofra. Well, we want to teleport back, so we have to run all the way through the academy. I've also swapped my team out. Explore the Shadow Isles completed. Collectors. Maokai. What? Where? Show them to Brom. You, defilers of the grove. Oh. Ah, majestic tree creature. There is a mistake. We. You go no further. Tarnish these lands no longer. This tree is very loud. I like that. Saplings shall rise where your corpses rot. I am not going to knock now. The fire. He thinks we're part of the team. Maokai, um, you do realize you are level 13. Okay, 250 health every foot turn. Hmm. Okay, put some good stuff there. He's still immune, so. Thunder and bleed. You may heal yourself by a certain amount every third turn, but um, that's not going to offset the amount of damage he deals. Entangle. Well, that took a bronze shield. And you know, point of thing. That's why I go start looking to put things in. You see, you're going to get tackled. I will punish their wickedness. Attack power up, so we do a hit stronger. Mutsom is my guy. And he already hits really hard. Brom is okay. Brom does not. I'm not sure what that does. Boom. Oh, he's entangled him now. Oh, that's good for Brom because we can remove the um, all the debuffs. Good man. More useful than one of your stories. Hey, Brom stories are good. Everyone should like Brom stories. Also, all debuffs removed and the machine is good. And he has a damage shield increase, so it's going to really, really work hard. Whee! Come to Evil Brom, eh? Good Evil Brom. Saplings! Okay. 12 deals of damage, magic damage and sorts. Short stun. The powers of the roots shall bind you to the ground. I still can't get a little powerful flame. Uh, now I need more, more juice. Yeah, see so we've got four of those, so this is now free. Oh, this has one person there, so actually... That's a lot of damage. Excellent. Bit more punch. Just 
here five times. Oh. Oh no. I thought he. Hi. Yay. Dying Grove. Meet Mokai. In the Blooming Branch, very powerful, you know. In the Blooming Branch, I went from Lion Water. Ten, I will do ten black marks. Could you please twenty four? Lots of fifteen. Chain of the Worthy. Ooh. Both things, but I think we just picked up our, our final perk character. Our final teammate. Ah, he. Must be made. They are poison. I am suffering. They are not the enemy, Ageless One. Ari. Wow. And why? Why? So I'm here. Yasuo, you found me. You've been here. I see my choice was a wise one. Yeah, perhaps. But was mine. But was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the outsiders, Ari. You know them to be friend. I know one of them. Avastaya. That's who you were protecting. Avastaya. <laughs> she hired me as protection. That obviously wasn't necessary. Nope. <laughs> Why did you leave without telling me the truth? I can give but wasn't yours to know. My search is mine alone. I thought you were in danger. You had my help, but you chose to fight through Grey Harbor alone. Yeah, I put some guys in the ground. It's wise for me to stay in one's company for long. I could sense your potential. It's why I sought you out. And why I had to leave you. Hmm. Boy, I hate to interrupt, but we aren't here for touching reunions. Or... Awkward ones. Then why are you here, if not to disrupt the grove? We're following someone. His name is Gangplank. The one who disturbs the mists. Yep. What does that mean? Gangplank is manipulating the black mist? That's impossible. Do you truly believe it impossible, human? Uh, no. Damn it. I came to the Shadow Isles seeking Gangplank as well. He brought an artifact of my people here. But when I arrived, I learned that he serves a greater evil. Thresh, the master of the Black Mist. It is worse than we feared. Thresh has a fortress here. Gangplank must be inside it. Thanks, one of spirits? Deadly mist? This was a great kingdom. What happened here? This grove was sacred. An oasis of life, surrounded by choking death. The last bastion against encroaching shadow. Now. It too shall suck up. Can we look at Mokai as well? Mokai as well. Show them, Ari. Before the ruination, the Blessed Isles were a land of beauty and wonder. Nice. Surrounded by a magic white mist, the islands were hidden for many ages. And then he it. roamed freely, as old as the islands himself. He plunged his roots into a blessed spring deep below the land, growing many saplings with their powerful waters. The land was blanketed by trees, emerald tops as far as the eye could see. The blessed waters nourished all. And then humans came. And then the humans came. At first, they thrived, though Maokai was wary. For many years, the humans lived peacefully on the island, 
some even communing with him and being shown the secret of the blessed waters. Many years later, the soldiers came. Maokai sensed something was terribly wrong. They sought the waters of life, having heard rumors of their healing powers. And finally, the ruination. Fueled by greed and pain, these soldiers and their king unleashed a black mist upon the island. In an instant, a massive explosion rolled over the island, and the black mist devoured everything. Maokai absorbed what blessed water he could, but was forced to act. He fought off the shadows, seeking refuge. But now, the Shadow Isles are all that remain. And Maokai holds on to what little hope he can, fighting to push back the mist. Yeah. <coughs> the king was desperate to see it save his love. I was with free reign to roam the island. Now the mist creates walls, impassable barriers that even I cannot penetrate. Your power is immense. Do you hold back? The one you seek, Gangplank, he stirs the mist. It appears more dangerous, even more nightmarish. It moves where it should not. That doesn't answer my question. I am held back, Deep One. My roots which once drank of the blessed waters beneath the Shadow Isle's surface, are now absorbing the black mist. It has invaded the vaults below. Blessed water? Guardian friend, might Brom find some in these vaults? No. The wells have run dry. What blessed water remains now? Maybe he comes for the cure for, the, for a vile plague. You are certain. Brom swore an oath to return to his village with a cure. Brom never tells a lie. What water remains in the vaults will surely be tainted. The black mist will see to this. With the help of his friends, Brom can find a way to cleanse it. We must try. That is, if any water exists at all. Tainted or otherwise. Should I discover any, and you still live, I will share it. Vastaya, you head to the vaults. Why? Why? Well, my I am there. in search of something. Some information. Yeah, well, the rest of the kind of. could have told me that before. If you must know, I seek knowledge about my ancestors. My tribe. The Vasani. Wouldn't they be back in Ionia? I have never met them. But long ago, before the ruination, the Vasani came here. We are going to the vaults as well. We must free Maokai's roots and clear the path forward if we hope to catch Gangplank. Ah, yeah. how convenient. Allow yeah, well. me to keep my word. We're coming with you. I will. Also, you've seen my powers, but you haven't seen everything I can do. I've had mortal allies, friends, before. Being close to them, I hurt them. If I learn about my tribe, I will learn more about myself and my magic. Until then, it's safer for you if I travel alone. Our meeting again was not chance. There is a reason. We are coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Until we have each achieved our goals. When that time comes, we walk new roads. Alone. Oh. Then it is agreed. Perhaps you are here to cleanse rather than corrupt. Tread lightly, small ones. Ah, he has joined the party. Roll healing damage. Innately connected to the magic of the spirit realm, Ahi is a mysterious fox-like 
Mastaya, in search of her place in the world. A somewhat reluctant predator, she devised by manipulating her prey's emotions, then consuming their life essence to survive. Adept in both frustration and destruction, Ahi journeys in search of her past. Dungeon abilities. Orb of Deception. Sends out on and pulls back the orb. The Orb of Deception reveals magically cloaked objects and banishes shadows near it. If an enemy is hit by the Orb of Deception, they take damage and Ahi initiates battle, starting with two extra stacks of Essence Theft. Ahi builds stacks of Essence Theft by using her Orb of Deception ability. Essence Theft empowers Ahi in healing her allies. Uh, healing, sorry, and healing her spells, not allies. When Essence Theft reaches its mind stacks, Ahi's next ability becomes stronger and heals her most wounded ally. Oh, yay. She didn't fly automatically. Yay. Can I get you out of party? I can keep you out of party. Uh, healer, damage, defense. Seems good to me. Oh! What the? Um. Guys? Did, did you guys also receive, like, a bit of pound? Um, Brom noticed this. What has portal ability gone up? <laughs> I don't know. Why? We, we just got stuff. Um. Brom. Portal. Defender? Uh, something just went up. Portal Pal. Something just. She's got a lot of points to point of things. But I just... Uh, I'm going to have to look at my own video now to find out what actually just happened. Eight upgrade points available. Spirit Charm. Spirit Mint. Devour. Bastaria Flames. Magic Damage Dealer. She has two abilities. Spirit Rush. Magic damage, no recovery time. Sh Essence Shatter. Wreck. Per stack of Essence Theft. So if you have like nine Essence Theft, she's going to absolutely obliterate something off the map. We can't enhance these. That's Foxfire. Okay, it's very fast and very quick. It pumps out Foxfire dealing to a random energy each turn for three turns. Magic Thunder. You know what? That's a good one to get because now it um, makes it better. Essence Feth stacked to Ahi, though. You know what? That's good. That's going to boost her Essence Feth's ability up. Ooh, we'll see. Over two hits, I'm going to two stacks each time. Three overcharge per hit. Nine. Next ability will be twice as strong and will heal also with an ally. Uh, let's see, over deception. That's just damage deal and increase overcharge. Uh, life steal or with deception. That's nice deals nice, but that's some um, the stuff's too good. Wow. Sixty percent magic Yeesh, you can make that up to seventy percent. Here increase the pack and next speed lane ability. But still seventy percent magic reduction. If you've got foes that are magic types, dealers, magic damage, that you can just block more than nothing. See, that magic damage, unites target dealing 15 uh, magic damage, and applied magic thunder. Damage taken by 10% for three turns. Uh, six of the charges. By lead. Passive essence thief. Twist the stronger and heal. Uh huh. Ooh. These are good. 
I can have both of them. I could just make an attack power up, or I could boost the... So it gives a 306, or I can make a booster attack power while she's doing it. There's too many nice things with this skill. No health threshold from 30 to 40. Maximum stack and a killing blow, maximum st max stat it. Up to 40%, so that gives them 400. That's an. Yeah, ouch. Mm. Why is it? <laughs> she has too many nice things. She's got charms. Amount of points, but there's too many nice things. She's got speed lane, cleanse to the bottom target, heals, power lane, heals, dead heals, all abilities, allies for 100e. Hmm. So instead of it just being that, heals ally, you can power lane it and make it. But then again, if you've got. Ooh. So heals that an additional per stack of health, essence fest. Nice. Okay, this is. Charm stuns medium duration and sells them. Stun duration up. More than magic damage. Reduces haste. And applies magic thunder. She has a lot of useful stuff. All enemies ignites them. Wow. So this one boosts 6% get essence fest from it. Uh, no longer ignites enemies but deals additional 60. So when it goes on the speed lane, it hits that, but when it's not in speed lane, it ignites. Each tick. Okay, so it does that, but then it also deals another tick. Okay, you just... I gotta try you out now. And she's got shards! Oh, so many shards. Yeah, they got six and seven, but that's only because we haven't spent the stuff in here. Hi, Hito. Okay, we got stuff, we got the good blooms, it looks... Then we get a thing, I think we got the um, thing for her, for the Spider Queen. That's going to keep in getting all stuff. We have got a lot of money, to be perfectly honest. We actually do not have a lot of money. But I keep spending a lot on them. Um, and I don't, haven't been spending, I haven't been selling my gear. Speaking of gear. Ahi. You have nothing available. Thing that boosts. Mm. My pearls also a pretty nice one. I don't have anything that boosts their um <coughs> crit and hay evasion. I mean, she only has three percent evasion, but I'd like to give her stuff that just generally boosts her up. Alright, let's check out your rune stuff then. Uh, so your heal, maximum mana, mana, more mana, per 10 points of mana. Ooh, of current mana. Ooh, okay, arcane powers. is a nice one to get for her because that's going to give her a boost of, give her 10 points per 10 points. So the more mana she has, she has essentially 22% boost available right now. Crit and crit damage. Boom, she 
H by when debuffs all enemies. Okay, these two are both fun. Damage crits additional eight percent and strike power three percent up. Let's see. We got begin battle with three stacks of essence thief. Uh and grease will by three, max gives another three points of mana. Six for sixty points. Ups the healing powers by twenty two percent. Gantz mana on kills. These are heals by fifty percent. These are both good. Let's see. Grand stack of hit on critical hits. 10% attack power boost, 204 damage to adjacent enemies on kill. Wow, that's just a destroyer. Ha! Boom. No 15% attack power boost, crit chance up, and crit chance. So a lot of these are that's nasty. On adjacent enemies. So you nail one in the middle, you hit everybody. <laughs> Alright. Uh Crits. Give her two points of sorcery. If I get another the next shard, I'll need a look at boosting. Now we get to back to the shop, we can sell and get a lot more points, and we can actually buy shards. Hey, right, which way am I going? I want to teleport. Really thing now. Yay! The ground port landing. Wait, why are we just leaving? Because I really have to turn in quests. Wow. Bounties. Oh look at the shop owner now. Okay, we also now also learn we have a um, thing for changing. It's brown skins. Ruined a hardy. It's done. You brought everyone back, all my friends. The Miss Water Beams. I can't tell you how much it means to me. It's been a very long time since I felt the kin. This real kindness, but you don't want to hear me prattle on. Here's your award. Arden Ring. It's Phyllis. Nice officially meet you, my friend. Hello there, friend. Oh, she looks cool. You sort of shop here. Let's see what I have for sale. Yes. Brothers. Livens 2, Pirate's Gift. Who actually uses this? Oh, that's for I. Okay. Ooh, I love the grove. Again for I. Not for I. Pirate's Gift would boost type power low things and give me cons. Bustion. Nope. Uh, aye, aye, aye. That's a nice one. Hmm. Another robes. I don't have a lot of money, that's the problem. So, we're gonna head back to town. Return to the bounty board. Collect our bounties. Only two areas in the game, Shadow Isles and Bilgewater. But there's a lot of things to do in both territories. And quite frankly, I have a really cool team set up. Nobody really pay attention to the fact that Fox Lady's walking around. I think I know a fight. Ooh, the conversation's though. Frankly, I'm right where I need to be to drop this off. I need money. You wanted Rogue Captain Flume. 
Uh, let's see. We're looking for a wee bit of help. Take out a no good scoundrel. He's going to be with britches. Captain Floon is a other jagged. Hooks has gone rogue. Pilfering a set of plans are drawn up by our very own dearly departed leader, Gangplank. And we're very much likely to have them covered. While the sentimental value cannot be altered, we would. There will be cash reward for anyone who can teach Floon some manners. And a whole cheap. Chunky amount of dark shape. Dark marks for me. Do what I really want. By Veil Jumper, still have no idea who he is. We got to claim this up, we get the Stilkin skin wrap. Thank you. Bounty Captain! I'm working in the bounties we can get. You bounty added. Captain Foon. Ah, you. Oh, you're there. Looks like that's. Oh, he's hiding out in, um, uh. Yeah, he's hiding out in the. In there. It's also stupidly, it's not a bad idea to hit the Buru Temple back up. Because there was a segment in the Buru Temple. Yeah, because there was that great there in the Brawl Temple that I couldn't get to, couldn't do anything with. With Pike's ability, however, I can now get through there. You can get the treasure. Multiple treasures, actually. You have any rooms available? We do, Tom. Torment's Fury. Okay, that's back at home, back in the place. Phyllis? I don't like Phyllis. What's the key? Like Woo! So, this might be a good point. We have it at the end of the episode, so that's fine. But it's also like a good point to hit. Oh, now that we have the necessary people. We'll hit up the um, Buru Temple. And given our level, we are going to run rings through anything that dares get in our way. And like I said, I might... I don't know. But I think first we hit the um, docks. Yes. Go there. Go to the low tide market first. We have things to sell. And I wonder if they've got any more cool gear for us. Most of our really cool gears come from the docks, come from that place. Because it's the dark. It's to see the underbelly of the... And I haven't been fishing enough to get enough mark, lock marks. Nice. Before you do that. Let's see. Counterway. Uh, and... Nope. Attractive players is for point for him. So Queen, Dead Man's Plate. Uh, nope. See, I can buy these for 20. He has 20 of them in stock. So I could, say, for example, buy this for Aoi. I can buy three of them and get an extra three sh shards. I can buy up to 20 of them, though. So if I had 400 marks, I could literally buy her 20 shards. A lot of shards. But if you get enough points, you can get Tabletop Ahi. Demon Hunter Yasso, which looks cool. Succubus Fortune. Eh, I don't care about Build World Brown, to be honest. Hmm. Backwater. Oh, uh, nice, but I have to like him, I like her. Oh, that way. So there's some very cool things you can get down here. I think the most important one to grab your hands on is the um, books of knowledge, terms of knowledge. But that is all for next time. When we come back, we shall hit up the Buru Temple. 
Hopefully into a fight, just so I can show off Ai. And she has got a bit of catch-up to do. Everyone else is not like it halfway up through the level. Oh, look, so she's behind, so she's going to have to get some uh, points thrown on her. Maybe the XP talent, something that boosts her experience gain. But that's all for next time. So until then, folks, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya!